Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Minute Channel. And uh, today we're going to be doing a video requested by Carlos. So thank you so much, Carlos, for commenting there. Uh, this is actually something that I had already working on. But uh, he made the comment and I was like, you know what? I can go ahead and uh, do this video because this is something that I wanted to do for a long time. So ever since Persona 4 Golden was announced uh, on PC, I was like, I am going to work on this video. And I just have been continuously uh, just having other stuff to do. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about these five tips for Persona 4 Golden. And let's go ahead and get started with this. So uh, number one, um, the point of Persona 4 Golden is for you to rescue these people by a specific time frame. Now, uh, the game doesn't really tell you how much time you have, so you can go into the uh, TV and any TV that has the weather, and you can check what the weather is looking like. Uh, at your house, for example, Nanako is always watching TV, so you just watch the TV and it'll tell you after the raining time period, that's what the last day, that's what you have. My advice for you is don't wait until the last minute, because I'll, tell, I'll explain in a second but um, there is a lot of advantages when it's raining when it comes to a lot of different stuff outside of, of the um, dungeons so what you need to do is you need to rescue them as soon as possible within one or two days preferably at the beginning so you can utilize the rest of the time to do other things now it's a whole joke about finishing dungeons in one day but in Persona 4 Golden is absolutely essential for you to do it in one day so you can focus on other activities there is so much you can do in this game uh, I'll say the first couple dungeons will probably take you one or two runs just because you kind of you don't have enough sp and everything and you need to grind and everything so it's understandable but again just make sure that you get it as soon as possible because there are other things that you can do one of those things is the rainy challenge at the ramen store that is in the central area or the shopping area what it does is increases knowledge and diligence and understanding what you're eating the ramen bowl so uh just how the big bang works the big bang work challenge works in persona 5 Rojul, the same thing but it only happens on rainy days uh that being said you can do it every single time that it's raining so the last week before you need to rescue that person is raining every day you can go every day and increase those stats as fast as possible so um do you, that that will be something you need to do every single time especially uh, because you have enough time to do this stuff uh, so it's pretty cool another thing you can do on the rainy days is um there is a um a gashapon machine that is right next to the lady that sells you the items like healing items and other random stuff and everything uh, in rainy days when you uh, do it uh, you get your item but uh, the lady will also give you a key because it's gonna get stuck uh, those keys are the ones that you use for the golden chest which you typically will need uh, special keys and everything so you get free keys and you get items done that being said that ends your day right there so make sure that you don't just do it so unless you need items that kind of stuff not very important or anything like that uh, but just an, another thing to notice there uh, moving up a number two there is a thing about cooking that in this game that is kind of a big deal uh, I will mention this because some people don't know about this so when Nanako tells you that she went to get groceries, you can actually cook for your friends. What it does is that you make a meal and you you actually uh, get to choose how to do it. And then uh, the next day, you can invite one of your friends, one of your social links to eat with you. What it does is that increase, increases your amount of... Um, of um points social points that you have with that particular uh, npc it doesn't cost you any at all so it doesn't waste any of your time this is a, a special time in your uh a day which you can take them for lunch and everything so encourage you to do it all the time because this really helps you a lot if you want to do a full run where you want to complete all the social links this is absolutely necessary to make social links easier for you and everything so make sure that you actually do that speaking of things that will save you time there is a book that you need to get as soon as possible or read as soon as possible that is uh, available as soon as you start the game within like the first few days i think um the uh book is called expert studies methods what it does is instead of getting one point from uh, studying you get three points every time that you study it's in your desk or whatever so 
make sure when when you uh as soon as the book's available buy the book and read the book that should be the first book you're reading because it's the most important book uh, especially because tests start very soon as soon as you start the, the, the school time and everything like that so make sure that you are doing that that being said make sure that you focus on on a lot the other aspects as well there are some jobs that you can only get once you get to the particular stuff some jobs actually unlock some social links in persona 4 a lot of the social links are unlocked after doing a specific ability or a specific, uh, do, doing something specific for example there is a job that you can take at a day daycare kind of like uh, taking care of kids and everything there is a social link that you can unlock that way but you need to be able to take the job and you need understanding so make sure that you are also working on all the stuff hence what why you should do the the ramen challenge because it's going to help you a lot as well uh moving up next uh once you finish a dungeon, the dungeon is not gone. It's actually still there and you can actually visit it again, which you should definitely do. However, my recommendation before you go back again and do the dungeon again, make sure that you go to the school and to the city. People will have quests regarding that particular dungeon that you just finished. So make sure that you pick up all the quests and then go back and do one day or two runs so that you can finish all the quests and so you can do uh, fight a new boss because a new boss will replace where you fought the last boss for example if you fight yukiko which is the first boss in the game you're gonna go back to the same area where you fought yukiko's shadow and uh, there's gonna be a new boss there so you're gonna have to go all the way over there and fight him again but you, once you defeat him there's gonna be a new item a new weapon that you can actually pick up at that specific spot all of them get a new one including uh use case so go back to the uh, to the uh, wine area there there's not gonna be a boss you just go and pick up uh these really awesome weapons that you can get for him which are pretty strong each new uh shadow that you defeat is gonna have a new weapon so make sure that you go to that particular area where the boss is where you fought the original boss so you can not only grind and do the quest but also so you can pick up the new weapon uh it's something that i didn't know at first like they do tell you that bosses are optional they're 100 optionals but you still need to do a side quest if you want to continue doing more additional stuff and that's one way to kill uh two birds with one stone you know it's absolutely easy to do uh it's one of the easiest and best things to do whenever you're trying to grind and everything and my last one of course this requires organization like everything else all persona games are really really need to kind of like manage when things happen and everything like that same thing in this one particularly because there's a lot of different additional stuff that you can do like your jobs there's so many side jobs that you can take in this game there's so many additional stuff stuff that you do special events um one of the biggest things in this thing is that you unlock later on in the story a garden that you can actually plant things on it you can buy different seeds and you can put them in different stuff they can die over time if you don't pick them up so make sure that you're keeping track of that as well however i do encourage you to focus on the gardening because you can get some really good items from gardening especially things like sp items that heal your sp more like there's this tomatoes that, that heal you sp and everything there's this corn to do the uh the defense attack that reflects physical enemies and that kind of stuff so absolutely important that you focus on uh the gardening aspect it's just stupid things a stupid little thing that they added on this game uh they actually added that on persona 5 as well which works very different by the way it doesn't work the same way uh however persona 4 does it in a different direction uh, and you actually have to take care of the plants from time to time so make sure that you actually go through that anyway that is pretty much all my tips here i was going to do five i ended up doing more than that but i love it and i think that this game is a really fun game make sure that you do a lot of the stuff there is so many to, things to do things like the fishing that i didn't even cover uh, or the bug catching which is also kind of something kind of important in the story in the story era it's kind of like elements that you can do they're completely optional but they allow you they have so much flexibility as far as the things that you get to do in the game and everything but anyway that is pretty much for today if you have any questions or any more suggestions for for um new players for new tips and everything definitely drop them down below and let me know what you guys think about this and tell them if there's any other tips that i didn't mention uh there's some way more that i could go in detail with so just let me know what your questions are regarding persona 5 or persona 4 golden anyway that's it for today guys i'll see you guys next time